Yeah, <laughs> Alright, so Sue, we are here at the Expo. We have been rocking it this weekend already. We're only on day two. Oh, is the camera up there? Okay. <laughs> and so we are, we just got out of the awesome Orphan Black panel, which was awesome. And hilarity ensued, which kind of works for us. And we were, we we're talking with Dylan. Because yeah. Right here. <laughs> the man with first two first names. <laughs> first two names. I even get confused saying it. <laughs> the man with the Wow, this is this it's is totally this is, this is cool. This is new. This is new for this us. This is gonna be hey, awesome. Wow, this is uh, yeah. We're on the forefront of something here, guys. It's the edge of technology. Luckily, we can put it on the table. Or luckily, I like this up. view of my chin. Right? Yeah. This? Oh, that yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 hey, hey, oh, oh, Okay. <laughs> Good. But Why don't you guys tell me I had a hair out of place? Dude, it's crying fine. out loud. It's better now. It's better now. <laughs> it looks good. I like what you're working with. I like what you're working with. I'm working the humidity too. <laughs> <laughs> but we had. There we go. Let's do that. Hey, look at that. See? I don't know where to look. Do I look at you guys or yeah, I look you at. Can look wherever you okay. Want. Right. I'll look all around. But that's awesome. <laughs> Get in here, but Sue. We love, we love season one. We've been Thank there you. from the beginning. Thank you so much. Uh, Space was kind enough to send us like, the, uh, the first couple episodes. Well, so, hey, we yeah, we. We tease you out right there. Yeah. Now, we heard a question about dragons today. What is the most yeah, I don't, absurd idea you've heard for season two? I, that was probably it. Right? <laughs> I, I know. I, I, you I'm know, not excited about drag. Yeah, that's, I was too. I was like, Jordan perk up. <laughs> I thought it would be really cool if Paul was on some mission and he had to dress up as a woman, and, you know, and just go kick some ass. But, uh, and Felix has to coach him? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that More is brilliant. The More wiggle in the head. Yes! Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, it would be kind of like that scene with uh, him and, him and Allison. Him make up for him. Yeah, when he was right. teaching, when he was coaching uh, Allison how to play Sarah. That yeah. would be, oh yeah. my god. Really that, and for some reason we are not on the writing staff. Well, you guys should. Understand. That's, well, you know, I'll have... I'll, That's I'll, all I got. I got one thing for season two. I'll have a few choice words with uh, Mr. Graham Manson. That's right. That's amazing. And we just We'll say hi for our friend Tanya Lemke, who did uh, products. Tanya Lemke, yeah. yes, she did. She was a lovely, lovely she gal, really and she uh, she really was uh, she was great, great, great part of our show. And uh, <laughs> she's doing something uh, now called Static Movie. Yes, she is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's with Igor the Puck or whatever his name is. Igor the Puck Dog and Yannick Bisson. Is she yeah. is she going to uh, Yannick Bisson too? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. that's Murdoch, Mr. Guy. Yeah. Wow, yeah. no, that's uh, uh, you know, I, which she also I, does props. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I lived I lived in the United States for so long. I miss CBC television because we don't get it up there. So when I when I come home, I get to watch. Yeah, and yeah. that's such a fun show to watch. But I hope Tanya is not too busy with her projects so she can come back because she did a great job with my nail gun last year in season six, <laughs> I, I, episode six. So. Uh, yeah, 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 she was awesome. She was really awesome. Because, yeah, I just picked up, I literally watched every episode. We reviewed them each week. Yeah. And we chatted with all, everybody we've been able to get so far. And, and just got the Blu-ray, so I'm totally looking forward cool. to it. Cool. You know what? Everything. I don't even have... Any, what? Any Blu -ray we didn't even out. know it yeah, was like out. out. We were in an HMV just like killing time. Well, I, I don't. I don't think like, it's, hey. it's not out in Canada yet. Oh no, that's no, it is now. It is now. Yes. Are you serious? We wandered out uh, out of the screen that we thought was something else. You guys got a bootleg copy, didn't you? No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah you were in Chinatown. <laughs> and we got a bootleg copy. <laughs> You guys! <laughs> it's like some guy filming it from his TV right. screen. And then, Trust wow. me, it's 1080p. Yeah, it's so good. The, the quality's great, I promise. Every once in a while, like a cat passes by yeah, the screen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, a piece of popcorn. Yeah. Of it's probably when I'm on the screen. Boom! <laughs> Get that guy out of here. I don't we trust think. him. We think, I'm not sure. <laughs> I kind of like him. Yeah, I don't trust him. Is. I'm attracted to it. <laughs> <laughs> but creeped out at the same time. Someone really said that to me. And it was so interesting because you know what? He, I, I don't intentionally play him creepy, but at the beginning of the season, I mean, we didn't want to, well, we didn't want to give anything away. Like I, I tried to play this guy as milk toast as possible, just mm -hmm. a boring, boring, aristocratic uh, guy with his, his job, and he's just into his job, and and just just a boring guy. Like he likes to. Go for runs on weekends. Who does that? I don't know what that is. He's got an infa infatuation with coffee. He just loves coffee. Um, but then that would make the turn in episode five when you find out he's a monitor. Yeah, he has was, such yeah. a checkered past. So much more of a, of a shock and, and, and so much more of a fun surprise. So, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. How, did, how much of you? How much did you know that that was going to happen? Like, I'm assuming they kind of um, keep the scripts fairly close. Yeah. You, get them like a week you know, in advance or whatever. 
well, I, the scene I auditioned with was the scene where she is kind. Of, he, she comes in and he has the gun on her, and then she reveals that that's the reason that she. Uh, he's he's the reason that Beth committed suicide. So that was my audition scene. So I didn't know really anything. They, I think they left the monitor thing out of that, so I wasn't really sure. But I knew there was going to be some sort of a twist. But as far as it being that kind of twist and him letting people come in and experiment on her physically, uh, on her yeah. physically in the middle of the night and, and stuff like that, I had no clue about that. And when I read the script, I was like, "Excuse my French." No, I'm not going to say the word. I was like, "It was, it was freaking awesome." I was, I was, I was so excited to to, to get to play. Because I remember that one. I, yeah. Cause that whole scene where she wakes up and I'm like, well, maybe she's dreaming. Oh and then she pulls God. The, that was, was such like, a creep. Shit is yeah. Going on? One of the creepiest scenes yeah. that, uh, that, that I've ever been part of. So. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think one of my favorite things is that the show has never talked down to its audience. I mean, not yeah. once. Not. You have to be smart. Smart. You have to pay attention. Of course. And I love that. Uh, yeah. Of course, right? Well, you, you say of course, but a lot of TV nowadays doesn't Caters, do that. Uh, it's, yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I think that's a testament to uh, the faith the writers have in, in what they're doing, and, mm -hmm. and, and the faith the networks have in our in our premier writing crew. So I'm happy they're not afraid to go dark too. Yeah. Of course, yeah, they it works for our show. Over yeah. with a car. Oh my God, I can believe that. I know, I know a lot David of David Richmond Peck had a tail. I mean, I didn't know that. <laughs> I know, I know. It, it was so much fun working with David. He, well, he had one for a while. I he's mean. such a talent, and and I remember seeing. I didn't. I wasn't working the day where his tail got cut off. Obviously. I'm in that episode a lot, mm -hmm. but uh, Tatiana. Um, You're tied to a chair for a lot of it. Yeah, I know. That's very true. <laughs> Sit tied to a chair. Um, they were going to have me initially tied down. I'm like, tie this guy down. He's going to do something. Uh, but they showed me, uh, like, Tatiana showed me, she had someone tape it on her phone, and she showed me the anim animatronic, uh, the tail moving around. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> And, uh, and, and and not to be crude, but the uh, the, the the nickname for the tail on set was the backcock, <laughs> which was pretty funny. A lot a lot of the crew came up with that. A lot of our a lot of our guys. Dances with it. Yeah, because yeah. Well, yeah, that was the scene Lemke told us about where yeah. uh, Tatiana had to throw it every time and yeah. hit the mark every single time. That's how freaking good that girl is. It's disgusting. I know. She's not only just a brilliant actress, but she has really good hand eye coordination, <laughs> 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 which is pretty great. <laughs> Just yeah. chalk up another. Yeah, exactly. Awesome quality. Really, another notch on the belt for Mrs. Yeah, Tatiana. That's just wrong. Yeah. But now, what would you like to, if you were writing season two, what would you like to see happen? Gosh. Besides spaceships. Uh, gosh, <laughs> I, you know what? I, I, I would love to see a lot more action as far as my character is concerned. I, I just want to go out there and kick some ass. I've been I've been training in the off season. As a woman. Yeah, I've been <laughs> as a woman. No, uh, but I've been training in the off season. Uh, I, I've got a, tra a trainer that's an ex Navy SEAL, and he puts me through. Yeah, we've got. No, you haven't had a car. Yeah, exactly. So he's got me on a strict diet routine. I've been doing a, a Navy SEAL inspired workout routine. Uh, my girlfriend knows an ex CIA operative, and uh, he's. Uh, uh, taking me out shoot taking me out shooting and stuff so and he's telling I mean obviously he doesn't tell me any secrets or anything like that but he helps me with the development of my character because wow. being as ex uh, CI intelligence uh, person that it's uh, it's it's I think it's really important for me to, to, to know these kind of things and I get my hand on every book about Green Berets uh, Delta Force <laughs> Afghanistan um, that I that I can read so I'm, I'm just really excited to, to, I just want to kick some more ass that's, that's basically wow. but, uh, but at the same time you know I, I you know, I just think the quest for her daughter is just going to be such a fun and amazing thing. They can do so much stuff with it. And, uh, you, you don't know where Mrs. S is going, what direction right? she's going on, yeah. what's going on with Dr. Leakey, Art, uh, now that you know the Beth conspiracy is kind of figured out, what the hell is he going to be doing? Am I good? Am I bad? Like, I mean, God, I said Art's one of the only people I trust because at least I understand his reactions to everything right, so yeah, far. Like, yeah. I don't really think he has yeah. any shady background necessarily. Yeah, but you but never know. Might. You know what? You know what? We were. A, a, a Andrew just seems like a trustworthy guy. He does. He's like the nicest guy ever. But our, our shows, like you know, we keep you on the edge of your seat. And, and there's not only big spoilers at the end of every episode. There's little spoilers, right? Yeah. And little twists and turns within the episode. And I, I God, he can go in a really dark direction as well. So we'll see. Me and Hatcher always talk on set. We'd be like, we wanted to fight Paul or Paul or Art. And I'm like, dude, are you serious? Like, like Paul's like ex, like 
Yeah, yeah, yeah Art, Art would be stubborn, but Paul would end up. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but he's, he's a cop. Art carries around a lot of anger. <laughs> he does, he does, he does. He, he might does. have a leg up at the start. But I think Felix would cut both of us. Yeah. Without us. So he's always yeah. got like a switchblade on him or something, so <laughs> you, would, you would know. <laughs> And one last question, which is the one we usually start with. Sure. All-time favorite movie. All-time favorite movie. Oh, God, that's a great question. Or one of. Yeah. yeah I have oh, my God. Yeah. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can go the total dude route and be like Braveheart because I saw it when I was just, I was young in the theater and I saw it with one of my best friends. And right. we, were, we were both like kind of like trim tough guys and I looked over at him and he looked at me <laughs> and then we're both oh. tears <laughs> streaming down our face. Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> but as far as the great movie that I saw recently, Silver Linings Playbook, uh, oh, I, I mean, Jennifer uh, Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, fantastic. Oh. I became such a huge Bradley Cooper fan after that. He's such a smart, down to earth guy. I listen, I listen to NPR a lot, and I heard him speak with Terry Gross, and uh, he just seems like a really humble and a, a really, uh, you know, just a pure gentleman. And I really yeah. like that uh, movie as well. So yeah, good choices. Yeah. Dylan, thank you. That Thanks, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. My show. pleasure. My pleasure. Can't wait to see you. Yeah, 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 I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited. Me too. I can't wait to see what I do too. <laughs> exactly right. All right. All right Perfect. Guys. That was great. Yeah, no, no.